In this video, we're going to be working on this motherboard that was mailed in for damaged CPU socket pins. I do see damage onto the pins by just looking at the socket like this. I see damage in different areas of the socket. You can tell if there's damage, light will shine on the pins in a different way. All the pins are pointing in the same direction from left to right. So if there's one pin that's not pointing in the same direction, light will shine on it in a different way and you can tell that there's damage onto that socket. We're gonna inspect it under the microscope, but just based on first impression, I do see damage in several areas of the socket. Now we have one issue. The RAM has a basket-like thing around it and the RAM has a handle that's going on top of the CPU socket. So right now we can only see a small portion of the socket from the bottom and maybe a small portion from the top if we remove this uh, basket-like thing that goes around the RAM. This is very delicate work and the pins on the socket are very fragile, so we have to have a clear view of the socket before we do any work. What I'm going to do is remove this basket-like thing that goes around the RAM. There are three screws from the back, but the handle, I never had to remove this handle before, so we're gonna see if we can take it off and expose this socket on the bottom. Now, as you can see, all the pins are going from left to right, left to right, and the pin itself has a curvature on the front so it goes like this and up and back down like this up and back down and these pins are very fragile what we want to look for is any bent pin or maybe any pin that's touching the neighboring pin i'm not going to ship this board to the customer until i post the video in case i miss the pin okay now we have some possibly bent pins here i want them all to be parallel Look at this one. We want to be as easy as possible because this pin can break. And if it does break, there's nothing that we can do about it. Some pins on the socket are not used. There are no connects. So we do not know which is which unless we maybe get a diagram for the socket and look at what each pin does. But it doesn't really matter if it broke or not. A board diagram is not going to help. We're going to try to be as gentle as possible. And the pin is not going to be perfect. It's not going to be aligned perfectly, but as long as it's going in the same direction from left to right, and as long as it's not touching the neighboring pin. I'm going to try to use a tweezer that has legs. Maybe I can grab the pin better. I always alternate between tweezers to see which one does best for that particular pin that I'm working on. Okay, looks good. This pin is bent in a weird position, so we're gonna fix it as best as we can, as long as it's pointing in the right direction and it's not touching nearby pins, we should be okay. so that looks good enough all pins are pointing in the right direction and no two pins are touching so this section is done
this area looks good. Except for this one here. And again, I'm trying not to miss any pins. Some of you may get seasick from the movement, but we have to do it. Okay, this one is a little bit too close to the other pin. Okay, so this side of the socket is done. The right bottom side and the left bottom side are good. Now the fun part comes. We have this block in our view, the ram handle. So we're going to have to go like this to look under it. And yes, we do have damage here. It's going to be hard working on it like this. Is the Nexus 6 for Michael ready? Uh, wait, hold on. Maybe we should attempt to remove this because we're going to have a better result if we are able to take this out. Let me try and see. Let me try and see. I'll be back. So. As soon as I removed the first three screws from here and here, the ram handle flipped backwards, as you can see. So right now we have a clear view of the socket and we are able to see it without this handle obstructing the way. So let's start from the bottom right, just make sure everything is good. Okay, so everything is looking good on the bottom right, bottom left. Very good. So we just have the top portion that we did not look at yet. Hopefully, no more bent pins. But of course, that's not the case because we already saw something wrong up here, right there. Where is this one? Where is it hiding? Oh, it's, it's broken. Okay, so this one is broken. It may not be a big deal. Like I said, a lot of pins on the socket are a no connect and they're not used or they share the same pin, same neighboring pin. We may have maybe 10 pins that connects to ground. If one of them is broken, it doesn't really matter. Or maybe one of them is not connecting to anything and it doesn't matter if it breaks. Or maybe a pin doesn't have a major purpose. Right there. What's up, buddy? Hi, how are you? All right. So 
So that's it, everything is done from top to bottom. Let's check the top. Okay, the board is done. I put everything back together. Now, customer mailed in the board like this. He did not mail in the entire computer. So we're not gonna be able to test his board on his computer. But the good thing is I have a couple of IMAX on the floor here. We're gonna pop this one in one of the computers there and test to see if the CPU socket is working. This is not going to be done now. I'll give it to Big Boss and he can do it later today or tomorrow. All the pins are pointing in the right direction from left to right. The only one tiny problem I see is the broken pin on the socket. That pin may or may not be useful or it may be connecting or may not be connecting to anything on the board or it may be sharing other pins. Maybe we have uh, 20 ground pins and that pin is a ground pin so it doesn't matter if it breaks off or not. Anyway, we did everything that we could. We're gonna invoice and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.